Blog Talk Radio. You're listening to the Digital Dave Radio Show, live on Blog Talk Radio. Streaming since 2009, 2010, and now 2011. From the halls of WRBG 107.9 on your FM dial, and now streaming on Blog Talk Radio, here's Digital Dave! Wake up. Has this conspiracy theory and speculation that Whitney Houston was murdered. Uh, hold on once again. Let's see if we can uh, go back to the Stonester. Stonester, are you there? Digital Dave, are you there? Yes, Stone. Speak up. I cannot hear you. Are you there, Digital Dave? Yes, it's Stone from the Stone. Stone and Digital Dave Radio Show. That's right. This is Stone from the Stone and Digital Dave Radio Show. Uh, what's going on, Stone? That's right, Digital Dave. Stone checking in. Now, I heard a little bit about what you said, and you have to be kidding. There's some kind of Nancy Grace conspiracy in regards to Whitney Houston. Right. Tell me about this one. Okay, so according to Nancy Grace, because how Whitney was found with her head slumped in the bathtub, drowning basically, she thinks that someone was in there while she was intoxicated or high or whatever, allegedly, and pushed her head into the water, drowning her, causing her demise. What do you think about this crazy theory? I think she is a a Whitney Houston fan, and she's going to try to make any kind of excuse possible on why this woman, who had a history, a history of being a drug addict, she's just trying to make alibis for her. Yes, but isn't it kind of also grandstanding the situation and coming up with something so outrageous and out there that there's just no chance of it being true. And now well, she's is, in this. That is true, too. And, uh, you, you know, I, I'm going to, you know, we uh, we met Whitney Houston in the past, and when we met her, she seemed pretty classy. I guess that's how she created, how she uh, responded to the public. And she had a great voice and everything, but do you remember that uh, basketball announcer who used to be on CBS? He was a, a blonde-haired guy, big nose, blonde mustache. His first name was Pat. Pat, say, uh, Pat uh, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Pat O'Reilly. Pat something else. His, O'Reilly. I don't remember his last name, but I know who you're talking about. Pat okay, O'Reilly. Okay, yeah, and he, he said, I heard him say, and we know that he has had his share with uh, alcohol, uh, a recovering addict. I heard him say, and I quote him, he said that he knew Whitney Houston a very long time, and he can't remember when she was ever sober. What do you think of that? Well, coming from a guy like that, uh, a has-been, a guy who was at the very top and now is at the very bottom, uh, to even listen to one word he says, I'd rather listen to a street bum and take their advice than listen to. Uh, I can't. I, I wish I could remember his. Uh, someone call in and, and tell us what this guy's last name is, because now it's irking me that we don't know it. Uh, but there's no way in the world that anybody could make a statement like that, especially when he's drunk most of the time. He, everybody looks drunk to him because he's uh, incoherent. <laughs> so you're saying there's no validity to his statement. Absolutely not. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You've seen her on shows and stuff. She just got with the wrong crowd and got to partying. And, you know, it happens to a lot of those superstars. It happens to a lot of people in Hollywood. So it's no new story. Uh, Anna Nicole Smith. I mean, obscurity to stardom to drug well, overdose. Big Mr. Big Whitney Houston fan, I'm going to beg to differ. I'm going to tell you what happened here. Okay. 
uh, I'm going to say this individual was a, 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 a street hood, okay? And then she got polished and refined and got a great career. And then along the way, you know, she did her uh, everything under the sun. And, and it's just amazing how all these individuals are trying to blame Bobby Brown. And if you remember, when I, they had that silly, silly uh, reality show, Whitney Houston came off the worst of the two, and actually, if you watch it, I began to uh, consider uh, Bobby Brown a decent guy, and Whitney Houston was the uh, the bad, the person, the rogue, the individual you just didn't want to be around. Well, you're so wrong, Mr. Peanut Breast. I'm telling you, I don't know where you're coming from. Whitney Houston is from the... Uh, Sissy Houston family, the religious, the Christian. She she grew up in the church. She was a choir girl. She was a uh, just a, a nice little uh, innocent girl. You can tell by her first videos. 